Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Chastity. Here we talk about beauty, entertainment, celebrities, books, movies, anime, TV shows, and kind of anything else that guards my attention this week. And today, we're going to talk about whatever the hell Chica was doing on Twitter last night because the tweet is still up and I don't really understand why. Now, before we get into this, if you don't know who Chica is, Chica is a 24-year-old rapper from Montgomery, Alabama. Chica rose to fame in about 2017, 2018, when a freestyle she did criticizing Kanye West on Kanye's beat, Jesus Walk, went viral. And from that point, people were very much so interested in who this girl was. They had no idea who she was and where she came from, but they knew she could rap. Chica has stated that she wanted to use her rap to push her activism and she said regardless of any career path she would have chose, she would use whatever platform she had to be vocal about her activism. Now, personally, I didn't really know who Chica was until about 2019 when there was a whole bunch of controversy surrounding her Calvin Klein ad. People just couldn't believe the audacity of a dark-skinned, fat black woman in some bra and panties they was losing their goddamn mind the internet does what the internet does when fat black women exist and that is when chica came into my consciousness now i would never call myself like a fan of chica but i do like her music i think her ep like is it industry games i actually very much so like that project it was i think that was like what 2020 that came out and that was one of my favorite eps of that year for a rap girl so I'm aware of Chica's music, but I don't really follow her on social media like that. I don't really interact with her outside of when she releases music, but I have always liked her music. And before her last night, I've usually stood by a lot of the things that Chica has said. In April of 2021, Chica had announced that she would be retiring from rap music to work on her mental health. I wish maybe she also chose to retire from Twitter because I feel like you're working on mental health. Twitter is the last place you want to be. <sighs> so last night, Chica got into it with some random girl on Twitter, right? And Chica then goes on that girl's page, takes a picture of her daughter, and then puts it next to a skeleton and said and captions it happy halloween so we're the gist of this tweet that i'm going to show you but i'm also going to cover the little girl's face because we don't show the faces of minors here on my channel but like we're supposed to be getting this idea like this little girl is like ugly or something and the reason why i say that is from what's transpires later but we're supposed to get the idea that this little girl is ugly side note she is the cutest little black girl i have ever seen in my life that little girl is adorable super super cute don't know what chica was trying to do with that comparison that little girl adorable but like she's trying to call this woman's child ugly now me personally i don't bring up nobody children because that's how you die People really die behind kids and I really don't understand why y'all get on Twitter and feel so bold to talk about people's children. And like, I know people were trying to say like, well, she came at her first. Yes, she did. So all of Chica's comments should be pertaining to the brickhead adult she's having this confrontation with. That little girl d didn't have shit to do with any of this. It is not that little girl fault. Her mom is a dummy bitch. It is not, so leave her out of it. She's an innocent little black girl, minding her business, being cute as a button. Why does she need to be attacked when there is an adult right there waiting for you to drag? I promise you, if Chica would've just went through her, her media enough, she would've found material outside of her child. Now, before we go on, those of you who use what Chica did last night as an excuse to be fat phobic and racist, you're going to fucking hell. I absolutely hate people who wait for the opportunity for people who are a part of like protected groups, like whether it's people of color, whether it's trans people, whether it's fat people, they are waiting, salivating. For the moment for people like that to fuck up so can get off their bigoted tweets y'all are shitty people too you are just as bad if not worse than that person 
Like I like y'all really be y'all be having these horrible tweets in y'all drafts waiting for the opportunity for one of those people to fuck up so you can finally be openly racist openly fat phobic openly transphobic and think it's cute and funny because we're all attacking this person y'all not fucking low y'all terrible fucking people moving on from that chica then gets on spaces to defend why she called that little girl ugly she verbatim refers to her as an ugly little girl this sweet little black girl they have shit to do with nothing she thinks it's completely fine and completely okay to call her ugly well you got beef with her mama why are we bringing children into grown folk business this little girl has nothing to do with any of this i promise you there was probably so much she could have attacked the mother for but she shot but instead she chose to attack the innocent person that had no smoke in this this is also not chica's first time like attacking people's children i think she mentioned it like in spaces that like when she was arguing with somebody's father she referred to their child as a dog Again, this was like another black person. I don't understand why it seems so hard for Chica to fight with adults. If your beef is with grown people, keep the beef with the grown people. Leave people children out of it. Maybe I'm just different. I don't see the point in attacking people that can't fight me. Because like, it's not like Chica has her own children and like that's how this is all sparking, like people attacking Chica's kids. Chica has no kids. So why are we bringing up other people's children? No one is attacking your kids if you don't got no kids. Then while she was on Spaces, like she attacked the barbs, which was random. Okay, sure. She was blaming the barb for whatever. And then she was talking about the fact that like, this is a hate train, this is a hate train, this is a hate train. Which at this point, if any social media person or celebrity gets in any type of trouble, they love to refer to it as a hate train, as their way of like trying to like escape the fact that they're being held accountable for their actions. Now, some people genuinely do have hate trains, but some of you say dumb shit. And then people tell you the shit you said was dumb. That's not a hate train. And it's very weird to me that Chica thinks we're upset with her for what? Like this girl that you, this woman whose child you called ugly isn't a celebrity. So it's not like we're a bunch of stands attacking you. We're people who are scrolling on Twitter to see you call a beautiful little black girl ugly. Then when she was on Spaces, she was letting fans on. And of course, the fans were dick riding and telling her she didn't do anything wrong. The death for a lot of you is in y'all yes men. Yes men will lead y'all down the wrong path every single fucking time. I hope to never have people who like support me who won't ever tell me when I'm wrong. Now, telling you when you're wrong and calling you a bunch of bitches and slurs is two separate things, right? Because if you're just being horrible to me, of course no one's gonna fucking listen to that. But when you're like, yo, I love you, I support you, but what you're doing right now is fucked up. And no one had the balls to say that. Everybody was too busy dick riding to just be like, no, Chica, you fucked up. Like, you really fucked up. And honestly, yes men are so dangerous. They are so dangerous. Because I get, I, I almost 100% guarantee you that those dick riders, those fans of hers, are the reason why that tweet is still up. We're like, what time is it? Hold on. It's, I'm filming this at 1146. The tweet is still up. Why is it still up? Why? Because a bunch of yes men told her she was right and now she thinks she's right, which she's absolutely not. Like, I don't understand the disconnect because Chica calling this little black girl ugly goes against everything she's ever advocated for. She literally consistently talks about protecting black women. But the moment you get in any type of like confrontation, you're calling an innocent black girl ugly. Again, not her brick headed mama, the daughter that had nothing to do with nothing. Like what, what's, what's not clicking here? All of these politics, all this activism that you made such a big deal about, and you threw it all away last night for some random person on Twitter? I've 
talked about this in previous videos that I believe people show their true selves when they're mad, that how people react in anger is very telling. And if you really wanna learn a lot about a person, get them mad, or at least see them get mad at another person. And just, just sit back and you will really learn a lot about this person. That's why when someone says they're not racist, they're not fat phobic, they're not transphobic, they're not homophobic, et cetera, et cetera, always take it with a grain of salt until you see them have an actual like disagreement with anyone of those groups. Because the usually, because usually any time they have any negative interaction with any of those people, bigotry comes out of their mouths. Now, I personally view like any roast like that's like shrouded in like racism, fat phobia, transphobia, etc. as low hanging fruit. That's the obvious shit. That's the easiest shit. And I'm just, I just don't like it. If you gonna roast a nigga, especially on Twitter, niggas tell their entire life stories on Twitter. Just scroll and you won't find a lot about these people or go through their media and see their pictures there's so much material on people's twitter that it truly like doesn't need to lead to bigotry it don't it really don't because niggas be talking about how they rent not paid how they baby daddy ain't never see their kids in like how many years they give you so much material that you really don't have to be this shitty fucking person if you don't want to if anything you going so low just proves that this person has really got under your skin. Like that's why I feel when anytime any white person like gets so upset with you, they call you the N-word, just know you are under their skin, baby. You was under their skin because you're so mad at me. We throwing slurs now. Like, oh, I got you hot. I got you hot if you, if you throw around the N-word. Like that's how I feel. I feel like if you gotta go that low, that person says something, hit a nerve. Because I genuinely do believe if you gotta come at somebody with bigotry, keep on the playground. Cause that's so childish. So, so childish. You can go low without compromising yourself as a person. And I know this to be true because I do this all the fucking time on Twitter. Like I really be like going at niggas, but I never hit on bigotry because I don't need it. Listen, I don't know if it's just like growing up where I grew up, but I know how to drag niggas without hitting bigotry. I don't need that. Cause again, I just view that as like the obvious shit. That's the first shit niggas gonna say. Why well, do I wanna say something that everybody else probably said to you? I wanna hurt, if I'm gonna hurt you, I want to hurt you, right? Now, you shouldn't like hurt people, like that's bad. But sometimes niggas deserve it, you know? <laughs> sometimes niggas just, they just need, they just need a little bit of medicine. Okay, just sometimes, sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes like, you know, people be saying shit, you just like, it's empty in here. There's nothing. But back to what I was saying, I've just mastered the art of going low without having to compromise the type of person I am. Because you can't tell me it's worth compromising everything you stand for for some random person on Twitter. Really? Some stranger that literally has gained everything from this interaction while you've gained nothing but having your fans and people who supported you turn on you because you've they've seen this nasty side of you that again goes against everything they thought you stood for. A lot of you swear you're not transphobic, then you get into any altercation with a trans person and what comes out your mouth? Transphobia. You're not fat phobic, you're not racist, and then a fat black woman has the audacity to speak to you and what comes out your mouth? Fat phobia and racism. You can't tell me that you really stand for this shit if in the moment you get upset and angry, you throw that all away. You not standing 10 toes down in shit. If in the moment you get upset, it's bigotry coming out your mouth. I'm sorry, that does not, like, how does that make sense to you? That I'm not fat phobic, but don't let a fat person even speak to me sideways. Baby, you're fat phobic. Like, I don't. 
And that is why it's very important to pay attention to how people react when they're angry. Because y'all say you're not any of these things until you have a negative interaction with people of those communities. And especially when you have like a platform, whether you are a celebrity or a social media person, usually these horrible comments barely ever affect the person that you're trying to attack, but it does affect your friends who are part of those groups and any of your followers who are part of those groups. They, that hurts them a lot because they view you because of how social media works and we have these parasocial relationships, right? So they have this connection to you and then they see how you talk to a person that looks like them who has the same body type as them who is the same gender or sexual orientation as them and they see how you talk to them and that hurts them way more than hurts the person you are attacking if you are willing to compromise everything you stand for for some stranger on the internet there might be some truth in what they're saying to you so yeah, that's it for me. What are your guys' thoughts and opinions on this whole situation? Personally, the fact that Chica has yet, like again, it's, what time is it? It's 12, 11. I should really be done with this video and editing. But anyways, it's 12 o'clock. She tweeted this like 12 hours ago. It's still here. She's standing 10 tones down in it. And I'm disgusted by her because I personally, I just, children in my opinion are always you know that's an, that's a no-go just because i know niggas die behind kids and maybe that's the problem not enough niggas dying because i don't understand how now it was looking like a pattern that you have no problem talking about children and that scares me because i'm terrified that one day she's gonna talk about the wrong person kid that's gonna be the last time we hear about her. Because people do not play when it comes to their children. And fair. That is fair. Because children are always the innocent parties in all of grown people mess. In all of grown people mess, children don't got shit to do with nothing, yet they get dragged into it every single time. Chica, why don't you know how to drag grown people who can defend themselves? That don't look good. I know some people try to defend her by saying, well, maybe she doesn't like kids. Listen, I got a video for you I don't like kids niggas. Y'all disgust me. Y'all truly do. And it's not because you don't want kids. It's because you think it's okay to attack children because you don't like them. If you don't like kids, don't bother with kids. You don't have to tell me every 20 minutes how much you hate children. That's a problem. That's an issue. You need to talk to someone about it leave kids alone leave them alone like like there wasn't even supposed to be a video today i was going to spend the day watching the last season of on my blog and crying and going through my feelings but of course chica wants to say some dumb shit of course and again she took a break from rap for her mental health get off twitter twitter is not the place to foster good mental health it's not. Okay, when you're taking a break, that includes the toxic waste dump that is that bird app. Like I'm, an, like, I'm still annoyed from everything that had happened this weekend. And then to just see Chica on top of all of that, I'm just like, y'all irritate the fuck out of me. Y'all really, really do. Because I'm just like, why is everyone such a dickhead when it comes to children? What is, what is good with some of y'all? I have to ask, was your childhood that bad? Is that why you attack children the way y'all do? Is, is, is that the issue? You hate seeing children happy and loved that gets to you or something? Anyways, that's it for me. I'm super annoyed. And the song of the day is Enter the Blues by Miles Cameron. Um, He also dropped a project i think it's uh, like black boys in blue or something like that check it out it's a really really good project so yeah like it like i said that's it for me don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys hopefully less annoyed in my next one bye guys